Howdy, folks. This bilious-looking turnip is John Xavier Omsk of the firm of Omsk, Omsk, Iskovitz, and Omsk. Wonder what's bothering him? Mm hmm, it's schnapsy craves. What's this? My error, bicarbonate. Well, that means stomach trouble. Boy, that's enough to blow both his ears off. Mm hmm. Please. Well, this looks like a simple case of bad cooking. Let's look into his family kitchen. Ah, here's Mrs. Omsk. Just as I thought. One look is enough. In fact, too much. No, you'd better not. Hi-ho, the little lady is learning how to stuff a duck. Well, there are various ways to stuff a duck. Whoop! Come, come, that egg isn't ruined yet. Put it together and go on with your cooking. What do you think I am, a magician? Here, here, stop that. I do all the talking in this picture. You understand? Okay, now hold out your hand. Ellie, whoop! <coughs> there you are, simple enough. Sure, everything's just dandy. Now look. What a brain. What a brain. Boy, oh boy, and to think many a husband has a wife like this and wonders what's wrong with his stomach. Look out. Careful now, steady. My, my, what a mess you've turned out to be. Now, now, stop that. Quack. Quack. Fine, the little lady wins a good cigar. Well, folks, let's see if we can help this dizzy dame. And incidentally, learn something about culinary artistry. Okay, Bassetti. Howdy, chef. This gal has made her husband the burp of a nation. Yes, it's a sad case, but you can cure it. Come on, show her how to cook, will you? Good. And now, folks, the way he dishes it out, anybody can take it. Does he shake a mean nutmeg? Mm -hmm. Yes, I know, it's a terrible mess. Listen, want me to clean the kitchen for you? Okay, here goes. There you are. Everything's in order. Now let's take a look at this duck. The chef doesn't seem enthusiastic about it. Well, he'll show you how to test a bird to see if it's young and tender. Phooey, this thing feels like it's been dead since the Civil War. The leg joints are as stiff as a mule's ankle and just about as tender. Toss it away, chef, and let's get a good duck. It must have stuck to the ceiling. Abadabba, gazam, bazookster. There you are. Now look at this one. It's nice and plump, which makes it a good duck. Its leg joints are flexible, which makes it a young duck. Its head is off, which makes it a dead duck. Ho hum, there's no end to my wisdom. And now the first thing to do is to wash the bird. A bowl of fresh water. Shake in a little salt. You'll note in washing him, a circular wrist movement right to left is used. This is important, especially in the case of a nervous duck. Now a cold shower and fresh water and the bird is ready for the dressing. For the dressing base, use white bread, one day old. No more, no less. Uh -uh, look out for that schnoz. Bread is sliced thick. Soaked in water five minutes, then water is squeezed out. The bread is now ready. Fresh parsley has been chopped and now the celery is cut. Celery should be boiled ten minutes before it's added to the dressing, so it's moist and soft. Here's a quick way to dice the celery, the object being to do it without cutting off more than three or four fingers. 
Now add to the bread, the celery, and parsley. In the meantime, one small onion has been chopped and slowly fried in the pan. The onions are now added to the mixture. Chopped apples may be substituted in the event that the panned onions are unkind to your pancreas. Add a little bit of ground sage. Now pepper. A sprinkle of salt. A little dash of allspice. Only one egg. Two eggs and you have cement. Three eggs and you have concrete. Then stir well. The dressing is cooked 15 minutes, which gives it that flavor you love to burp. Hey, shh, Nix, let go of that bottle. Now we'll season with pepper, salt, allspice, and it's ready for the dressing. The dressing has been allowed to cool after cooking, and now we're about ready to sew him up. I mean the duck, of course, not the chef. Do you understand? Marvelous. Hey, look up. Yes, a knife. Whew, what a dame. Now let's sew him up. Now, now, be brave. Control yourself, darling. Zowie, what a poor duck has to go through nowadays. By the way, folks, if this reminds you of your last operation, just close your eyes. I'll tell you when to look. Now, it's all over. Just a few little fancy knots and old ducky wucky is ready for the hot spot. And there we are, all sewed up like a lady after a scrimmage at a bargain sale. The oven has been heated to a temperature of around 350 degrees. To read this, you stand on your head. Note the duck is uncovered. It is allowed to cook like this for 20 minutes to brown nicely. Then it is covered for the remainder of the cooking period. And now, Mrs. Omsk, how about some baked apples? Baked apples? Boy, how her husband cries for baked apples. Why, he wakes up in the middle of the night screaming for baked apples. Of course, you all know how to get the core out, but we'll show it anyhow. And now, clutching the apple firmly so that it will realize the futility of any resistance, we proceed to reduce it to a state of semi-nudity. This makes the juice ooze right out when it's baking. And now those apples are just crying for molasses. A half spoonful in each one. Now a little water for them to sizzle in. And a little sprinkling over the top. A teaspoon full of sugar in each apple. And now they're all ready for that upper berth in the oven. The duck has now cooked 20 minutes. Time to cover it. But first you add chopped carrots, onions, and celery. Boy, ain't that something. Hmm? And now you baste the duck using either the right or the left hand, according to the wishes of the duck. Well, anyway, the duck is now all covered up, and from here in, he's on his own. The scene now opens an hour or so later. The duck is ready for Papa Omsk, and the chef's work is finished. Thanks, old skillet. You can scram now. Say goodbye to the little lady, and I'll give you the powder. Au revoir. Come, come, get busy. I hear the Omsk limousine approaching. And now for the finished article. Hmm? Baby. Am I drooling? Surprise, surprise. Okay, sweetheart, you can throw that away now. <coughs> and now, folks, don't be formal. Just drag up a chair and push the puppies under this table. Here you are, here's your plate. If it isn't enough, ask for more. Just tuck a towel under your chin and let the gravy fall where it may. Here, try this on your barking ulcers. New, a geeten appetit. <laughs>